Item 179, appointing Randall S. Morris as General Service Director at an annual salary of $91,863.20 to be paid on a biweekly basis effective July 19, 2011. Move to approve. Second. Any discussion? Uh, go ahead. I'll. Uh, go ahead. I'm sorry, sir. Go ahead. I'll wait until you get done. Uh, Mr. City Manager. How got a resume on this young man? Uh, yes, sir, we do. Uh, has it been uh, distributed among commissioners in the mail? Uh, no, sir, it has not. Why not? Uh, nobody asked for it. Okay. Uh, this is a head of a department, right? That is correct, sir. I have the mail and commissioners been required to ask for resumes of heads of department when we have them? Well, typically, in the past, when we've promoted somebody which in, we have not done that. I, let's let's but, get back to you. Uh, <coughs> Generally, when we promote, this is upper management. Yes, sir. And just as if we are running a business, when we are hiring upper, man, uh, upper management, do we require a resume? And uh, I, I think we do. And let me just kind of a, uh, go in the background here. We've hired, uh, just for one here, we've hired six EEO officers, not different people but with the number of the same people, and if you wish, I can enumerate them. We've hired the uh, planning director. We've hired two police chiefs. We have hired a fire chief. We have hired a leisure services uh, director. We have hired a human resources director or personnel director. All of these are upper management. We have hired a block grant director. <clears throat> upper management. And to my knowledge, no one sitting on this panel have seen a resume of this upper management person that we hire. Doesn't sound right. And uh, doesn't set right. It's wrong when we hire the wrong person. <coughs> it's wrong when we fire the wrong person. And Satan is wrong when we hire upper management without those who are spending, are voting to spend the taxpayer money without knowing something about the person we hire. And I kind of say this. We've got uh, now, uh, we had 67 people who wanted to be, or put in applications to be, EEO officers, six to seven. And if this need correction, we do have, I suppose, our resource manager here to tell us. Of well, that six to seven, approximately 40 were African Americans, and I believe 32 were white, and uh, the other were Native Americans, others, 67. And the reason I bring this up, because I sit right here and ask repeatedly, may I see resumes? That's a fact. It's a record. I asked so many times until I received a letter from our human resource director 
that I was not to see the resumes of the EEO. I have a letter. And the reason is in the letter. Now we are asking to spend uh, the money, monies of taxpayers. And uh, I haven't seen a resume. And uh, you have not provided them to other commissioners or the mayor because we have not asked. And uh, uh, that's a little problem. So I just want to put a few things out here. We do not have an EEO officer. And let me just kind of uh, get to that point. Yes, we have someone we appointed. And the person we appointed with EEO our Leisure Services Director was EEO. We reappointed the person I think we have as EEO. We went out and we brought in another young man as EEO. And he <coughs> departed. And then we brought in another man, Mr. Griffin, I believe, EEO. And he has departed. And we went back, and we have the person who has long served as a purchasing agent. And he is our supposedly acting EEO. Now, when you came aboard, our EEO was the EEO. But now, our EEO is the purchasing officer, he is the training officer, and he is the EEO officer, and I suppose the Dubois. I'm not happy with that. Now, before we move up into upper management and hiring of upper management, this panel ought to have a resume so that when we look the people who are paying for this in the eye we can tell them why now this is a management I'm not a manager I'm not happy thank you mr. mayor thank you Commissioner Ray, I would like to echo on this. Going back to the uh, flow chart here with the EEO officer, we are showing that the EEO officer works for you. And uh, <clears throat> that should not be the case. And it's obvious that this position is very important to Commissioner Newsom and I. I don't want to act on anything until we get this, as far as reassignment of people, until we get this settled. It's important to the people that we represent. Obviously, we wouldn't be bringing it up. And to me, uh, I said from the outset, uh, when and if we get an EEO officer, his office does not need to be right next door to yours. Because whenever he comes down here to City Hall, before he, if an employee comes, they're going to know that he's been down there. They're going to know he's been down. So it's, 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 it's very obvious that it's important. I don't think the EEO officer should work for you just like our personnel director. There are some who wants the personnel director to come under your auspices. Well, that never was a problem before. But this is the only way that employees have of mounting their grievances. So 
I have nothing against Mr. Morris, but I think we should assign the same priority to one position as we do the other one, because they're both independent. And again, it goes back to, instead of just having position one, position two, let's put a name there. I think the taxpayers deserve it, and uh, if it changes, it changes. But uh, uh, I spent 21 years in the Air Force, and all the organizational charts that we had do your job. But I agree with uh, Commissioner Newsom. You're the only one commission. And uh, on the police chief, I got it then I to want to see the resumes. That's all I have, Mr. Mayor. Okay, uh, Mr. Mayor, just uh, reference our organization chart. And uh, uh, just a question here. We authorized one major, am I correct? That's correct, sir. What is the rank of our chief? We do have a major, right? Right, we have a major. Would you have him stand up, please? Steve. Oh, thank you. What is the rank of our chief? Chief. I, I don't really understand the question. Okay. If a major is the highest authorized position in rank, then there must be another major at least of that grade, right? Well, the uh, police chiefs now wear stars. So if we want to look at it, I guess they assume that they're generals. Uh, we don't need to tell them that. <laughs> I, 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 don't, I, I don't know. I, I had 26 years of uh, military service, and I've never seen a general with a major working as his assistant. So well, that you don't make our structure here. So. It used to be that uh, police chiefs wore birds like colonels, uh, but over the years they've changed. The chief we had prior to the chief we have now uh, was a major. Am I correct? No, he wore one star. He wore one star. Okay, so he's a Brigadier Jones. I and guess. the current chief wears four stars. How did that happen? He's blessed with good department heads, excellent department heads. They run this city yes. in a manner which every one of you benefit from. They have stayed within budgets. They have stayed within the taxes that they have been generated for them to operate in. You don't get good management without paying for it. I ran several aircraft companies. I will tell you that you just don't buy mediocre people to do work and you expect them to get it done. So having said that, that's one thing I've learned for four years in this city. It is where it is now because of the people, from the guy who handles a shovel to the guy who stands at the top, which is city manager. And I think you need to take that in consideration when you given all this consider, uh, conversation to this uh, movement here. Okay, Mayor, I have a comment, please. All right. City manager, how long have we been without a General Services Director. Uh, Larry retired at the end of December. Okay. How long have we been without a full-time EEO officer? About two months. Okay. And the, the position of EEO closed when? Last Friday. Friday. What, what is your expectation in terms of filling that vacancy? Delvick is going over there now. He should have them to me by probably the end of the week, first next week. We'll interview after that. And hopefully by mid-August, uh, uh, we'll be able to bring something to the City Commission. Okay. And... Um, Mayor, I just want to make this comment, and commissioners, I had the opportunity to sit down with Randy. Uh, we had a very frank conversation about our thoughts on where the city's going, um, and I'm comfortable with the hire. I think that you've made a good selection. Uh, I appreciate the, the input from the community on the, uh, on the job. It's an important position. He's a good person and uh, has good character, and I'm, I'm very pleased to vote in favor of this today and I look forward to working with him. Here, here. Yeah, I just want to echo Commissioner Barbary's sentiment. Well headed.